Hello, I'm Vincent. This is Vincent. He and Nancy, that's the blue one, are child-sized robots that have very recently joined Connecticut's Westport Library. My internet address is 192. 168. Westport was the first public library in the country to purchase these robots, made by French company Aldebaran, to help teach coding and computer programming skills. Aldebaran has mostly sold these robots to museums and schools. In the past, we've, we've welcomed, libraries have welcomed personal computers for people to touch, often for the first time in the 80s. So it's just natural to keep, keep going and say, well, what do people need to know about? And uh, we decided robotics was the next disruptive technology. Show me your Red Bull when you are ready. Alex Giannini, the library's manager of digital experience, has been programming Vincent and Nancy to do things like kick a ball and practice Tai Chi. Yeah. The robots can do many things, including recognize faces, respond to verbal commands, and write themselves after a fall. Oh, no. <sighs> the library plans to debut the robots October 11th, and programs and workshops will follow. There's that element of the unknown with, with the robots as to what they can do for us. And I think one of the coolest things about working here is that someone is, a patron's gonna walk in off the street and figure out something that I would never even think of. You know, and that person is going to sit down and, and develop a program or software that blows us all away. What day is it? I just answered that I was saying the day is Monday, September the 22nd. The Westport Library is not the only public library with robots. In May, the Chicago Public Library partnered with Google to make 500 Finch robots available to patrons. The smaller Finch robots cost $99 each, compared to nearly $8,000 each for Vincent and Nancy, which were paid for with private funding. They have already gotten a warm, and even somewhat protective, response from staff. I've seen people interact with them as if they're children, and, and your first inclination is, oh, they're kind of toy-like, but then when you start realizing what's um, what they can actually do, you realize how incredibly complicated and sophisticated these pieces of equipment are. Um, so they're, they're really, they're tools. They're, they're not toys, they're tools. They're tools the library's leaders hope will give people new practical skills, as well as the chance to have a little fun.